welcome back to maypole farm and last time we added in maize plus and then we did this uh soybean or two soybean harvesting contracts and we have um three trailers lined up because they are both all harvested so we've just got delivery to sort and the plowing contract is nearly done so we're going to make a nice amount of cash and we're probably going to use that to try and buy the cedar that we had least that i returned um which was this guy because it's only six rand so it makes sense to buy it now i think and uh we're going to plant some canola in one of our fields today um i think we're going to use that for our feeding so let's uh see how we do with tipping this and how we go with finishing off contracts both delivered to the same sell point so that's kind of useful i oh, didn't mean to disconnect it i meant to pull forwards a little bit there we go I'm pretty sure we should finish one of these contracts fairly quickly unless it goes against the other one. Um, a multiple contracts running, that can happen sometimes. So, yeah, it's going against the, the field 11, which is the one we just did the small field. So, that's okay. It will all work out. So, field 11 is now 97% complete. We, I hope we've got enough crop off of here. So this one is almost full. I'm going to stick it on. Tip quicker on the side door. I'll put it on the right hand side. Um, right. Get this tipped as well. And then we can redeem these contracts. So basically I didn't tip because I didn't want to get into the situation where we had an issue with contracts disappearing but not being completed. So there we go. Hopefully now we'll tip this and most of our trailer is full. So we should get some excess, I hope. I don't do many harvesting contracts and I'm a tad nervous. So all of the bales are back at the yard as well. We do need to get those stacked. They're on the trailer at the moment and uh, might leave them on there while we get the canola planting done because I need to do that today in game. So. All right. Let's see how we do with this. We are not going to get much at all. There we go. No. So hopefully you can't hear the insanely loud noise behind me. There we go. We have two and a half thousand liters left. If you can, I'll have been re-recording this audio. So we can collect those. Um, I and the tractors magically disappear. We have work being done in the uh, garden replacing our water supply so and the water supply for eight of the seven of the other houses where i live from so it's kind of noisy um, lots of soaring of concrete this doesn't really go great with trying to record videos so yeah should have done it um, i'm having my lunch break late i should have done it while they were on their lunch break and the dogs are not very happy either, so I'm going to go and sort them out and I'll be back. I've got to say, for two and a half thousand litres of soybeans, it would have probably been more cost effective or more time effective to uh, do something else. But hey, we've got a load of straw as well, which you'll see there. Uh, quite a bit, actually. It's quite a uh, precariously loaded trailer, but um, I think we're just going to feed these all to the cows um so that they've got three of their food groups covered at least we still i don't think we have any silage fermented yet so it will help um and the saw has started again so who knows you might not be listening to this i think they're putting our patio back which is incredibly loud so yeah um, I do not do well with loud noises, so yeah, not good for me. 
Not good at all. Um, let's just quickly check the silage bales. Pretty sure they aren't fermented yet. Uh, 60, 60, 60, no. So maybe tomorrow we can feed them some silage as well. Um, but yep, yeah, we are going to get some seeding done of canola. Saw us so loud. Um, really off, even if you can't hear it, it's really off putting. I've had um, some phone calls with work and people say they can't hear it, so I don't know if the mic is going to have picked it up or not. Uh, we're just going to go for a standard setup. No number plate. I'm not, I'm not so fussed about number plates on most things. Um, I know it's really big, but we don't really need to take it on the road, so that's not a problem. We have a tiny amount of seed there. I'm just going to buy another bag of seed. Um, and fertilizer. Did we lime that field? Does it need lime? Can anyone remember? Looks like we did. Yeah, we did lime it. I remember. Why didn't you not tell me that I'd already limed it? Hey, eh? Supposed to help me out here. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a really... Quite a big direct drill. But it's a real direct drill. So, you know. We'll buy a bag of that. And a bag of those. And we'll see how that goes. Uh, so I am going to grow the canola to cover our power food requirement for the cows. Um, not sure how much of it it will cover, and I'm not sure whether it's the right idea, but it's what I'm choosing to do. So, yeah. uh, and then we need to manually set our fertilizer application because we're doing imprecise farming, so... We're looking at adding... I'm going to add... I might come back and do an applica another application. Is it all really bad? And is the soil type all the same? Uh, so it's going to change over here. So I'm just checking. I would normally just load up the XML, but I'm going to run over. I need to bring the tractor over so it will tell me what the uh, required level is. Um, I figure as a farmer we would know the required nitrogen level for the two different soil types, so... That's... Plus 200. Wow. That's that. So that's 160. So I think if we go for about plus... I think if we go for plus 100 for now, and then we'll have to do some more afterwards. Uh, so let's deactivate that. Why don't you want to deactivate? I'm using the wrong key, that would be why. Um, you know, if, if we'd waited until spring, we could have probably used some manure to do a lot of this, but I'm impatient. And it would be it's better to get the crop in the ground early and get the uh, harvest early, so plus 100 kilograms of nitrogen. Lower that down, and off we go. And hopefully we won't get through too much. Of either. Uh, and you can see on the main map down there, we are increasing the amount of nitrogen in the field. It's not going to get us all the way, but it'll cover part of it and we can spray in the spring, maybe. Is what I'm thinking. Let's get around that corner. It turns like a barge. Again, I tend to do headlands and then do up down rows. Um, I like to do it. Once we've done this, we'll probably get those bales stacked away and uh, 
let's see what other contracts are available for our workers he must be really close to finishing that plowing contract he has in fact finished it so we can redeem that for another seven thousand pounds awesome certainly got our wage covered for a few months um, and I, th I think we're going to still going to need to buy some grain grist or some mineral feed for the cows to keep that well and it's only the last 10 percent maybe we don't worry about the last 10 percent for now maybe 90 percent is good enough so financially at the moment we're doing pretty well i think we do we could really do with buying our own fertilizer spreader we could do with buying our own sprayer we're not going to get weeds on any of our fields this year because they're plow so maybe we look at getting a solid fur spreader in the spring to finish off the fertilization on here i think we could do with buying the manure spreader and we're going to need a slurry tank as well to keep the slurry pit empty and i did not just drive into the hedge um mod update for those that care um it's gonna be seeing this a bit a few days later but um it is, it is thursday the ccm fermenter failed on a couple of minor points so i updated that and so sub we submitted it about five minutes after i got the failure report it was sat for half a day on testing complete um, and I, you know, if they'd sent me the failure report when they finished testing, I could have resubmitted it yesterday. They, they have to follow their processes, so not too big a problem. Um, and the, the pellet production is back in testing, so that had already failed testing once. Partly because I submitted that before Maze Plus was available and it required Maze Plus and you need to be able to link the required mod um, which I couldn't because the link didn't exist so uh, yeah that's back in testing today it's actually sat no it's been tested today it went through really quickly which either means it failed really quickly or it's passed it's one of the two um, I'll have another look later I have a feeling, I really hope they have not, but um, the the mod desk number that you need in, uh, or the version number you need in your mod desk file changed um, between submissions for those mods or just before submission and basically I hadn't updated the mod test runner. Um, so I tested them with the mod test runner and it came back all good and then uh, I retest the, when I was retesting the um, TCM fermenter this morning the the mod tester told me there was a new version so yeah there is at least one thing in there that is wrong but sometimes if it's just the mod desk they will change it for you so um, I'm kind of hoping it's just the mod desk that's wrong and they'll change that and that will be out um, I, I made it because I wanted it, like all of my mods. I don't keep crashing into the boundary of the map, honestly. Um, or like most of my mods, I made it because I wanted it. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, it lets you produce hay pellets and beet pellets, which on here is going to be less useful because it's not expensive, but we don't have the land to place it, so... Um, Possibly not going to see it on here, I don't think, for a while. We don't have enough land. But um, I'll probably be putting on Atkin because I don't have a problem with land on there. And it'd be nice just to show it off. And uh, we've got sugar beets growing on there, so yeah, probably be putting it on there. I'm just thinking of jobs that I need to do on here. I have already reduced the number of cows, so um, I've added Maze Plus to two saves recently and started adding them and uh case of remembering what I have and haven't done um I, yeah the uh the series for the people on Patreon has been updated with Maze Plus as well 
finished the video on there today. Um, and I went through the process of um, one, I, I had expected to be going through a lot more of it. I was pretty impressed that it, all of the pastures for that had grazing set up to work. They just needed me to change the foliage in the pasture. Um, but I did have a, a fermenting silo on there from the, the Hessian farm pack. Um, and that, that I it didn't need an update, it would still work, but I wanted to update it so that rather than producing whole crop silage from grass, it produced grass silage. Um, so I did that as well in the video. Um, that series tends to get more of that kind of thing. If I need to edit things for something like this, I'll do it in the background and I'll tell you I've done it. But sometimes for that one, I'll actually go through the process on, on screen of doing the edits live. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in seeing some of that, head over to Patreon. And uh, we'll also say thank you to the patrons now um, and the YouTube channel members. You are all you know, pretty awesome, I think, for supporting my. Uh, random adventures in video gaming and content creation and modding and all that other stuff that I'm getting to do thanks to you guys to some extent and yeah it's the other little bit to talk about today I'm not sure how this video is going to turn out in terms of format it depends whether the uh, that background noise came through earlier on um, is I am testing out my rendering experiment I think I said my I built a PC for my daughter 18 months ago was sat in her teenager's pit not working for I think 16 months maybe 18 months I don't think it's actually worked from the beginning I think there's a problem with the graphics card that I brought off of eBay um, back when graphics cards were insanely expensive I might try and sell it for spares and repairs if it is broken I've been run, I'm running it at the moment on just the CPU. It is a an i5 8600K, so it's got built-in graphics. And actually, it seems to be doing a really good job of rendering. Um, it seems to be quicker than this old laptop at rendering. It's quiet. It's cool. Um, so yeah, the uh, the next episode of Hattingham that you watch may well be the version that's rendering on there right now. Hopefully it is. It's, uh, it seems to be going okay, and if it works, I am still toying with the idea of. I've got an old, a real old PC, uh, so it's got um, basically that's going to give me a case and a power supply, which saves a little bit of money. Um, and probably end up having to replace the power supply, maybe, because um, it is quite old. Um, and what I'm thinking of doing is picking up a, uh, a motherboard, a second-hand... The CPU that's doing this work at the moment is a, a second-hand job off of eBay. Thinking of picking up something similar, maybe slightly higher spec. Um, and just building a little rendering piece. Well, it's a big... It's the case is freaking huge. There'll be a lot of empty space in there. Just building a PC to sit up in the spare room and do the rendering for me. Um, what I've been doing is rendering on the laptop overnight. I don't really like doing that. Um, I, I use DaVinci Resolve and I have a script set up to shut down a laptop when it's finished and it doesn't seem to be working at the moment, which means basically my laptop is running probably 20 hours a day because I have it sat well, while I'm working, I have it set next to me because it gives me a good internet connection for researching things and keeping it on my Discord and stuff. And uh, I'm not, I don't like that. It's, it's quite old and I would like to keep it going for longer, so if I can do the rendering on this desktop um, that would be better I think so yeah I'm, uh, I'm definitely considering I basically at the moment for the next week or so um, I'm hanging on to this uh, PC while I uh, the, the, what I've had to do is take out the graphics card and so it had a 1050 Ti on it yes I know it's an old graphics card she's a teenager she can go she plays like Valorian or whatever crap or Minecraft um, 
and graphics card were really expensive 18 months ago they're still expensive you know uh, and a 1050 ti now is still over 100 quid it's stupid for something so old but um yeah i've had to take that out and the pc seems fine so it's probably that um i've got a re an even older graphics card out of the pc that i mentioned which i'm going to stick in maybe tomorrow when it's finished doing this it'll finish doing the rendering job in a while but maybe tomorrow to see if that works and then i'm taking it into work with me next week um, because with the job that i do i work with a bunch of computer geeks um, and i'm going to get them to look at it for me i don't i don't that's not an offensive term to me you know I, i'm a geek so um, and one of them said he's got a spare um, graphics card that he can bring in so we can test it with that as well so that will hopefully fault find. I think I'm going to find out the graphics card that I bought from eBay a year and a half ago is junk. Not a lot I can do about that because it was so long ago and I lived with a teenager who used to live in a cesspool. It's actually been really good lately so I'm not going to give her a hard time about that. Um, so yeah I'll probably bung that on eBay for spares and repairs you know if I can get back like 40 or 50 quid for it. All helps doesn't it? And I could probably buy the graphics card for her through the YouTube stuff. So, so yeah, the experiments with that do continue. Um, I rendered the Atkin Park video on it, and I am going to be rendering this one on it. It seems to render much quicker than my uh, the laptop that I'm using at the moment, which is weird because the laptop has a graphics card in, but because of some weird driver stuff from Dell, the... Uh, software that i use davinci resolve won't use the graphics card so that's fun so yeah i uh i did dig out the 10 year old graphics card i had in an old desktop and the computer was completely stable and ran fine but the graphic card was too old to uh to the video rendering um so yeah continuing the test with just the cpu and it's working really well I did head to head between it and my old laptop and it was about 50% faster so yeah I'm gonna go ahead with that for now um, it's uh, I'm recording the rest of this on Friday so you'll see this tomorrow and um, we did the stream last night on Maze Plus and stuff it was really pretty good uh, went quite deep on some things so yeah if you're interested in that i did share the link on the community channel of community page of my channel so yeah go have a look at that i'm still 50 50 on uh, feeding this canola or just using the uh, the money from it to grow to buy um mineral or grain i'm not sure of the pricing of canola versus soybeans um i decided not to do a soybean cash crop and uh, just because you can't sell that till you know almost six months later maybe more from harvest so didn't want to have that long wait i kind of was one of the worst crops for a cash crop um which is why when we did the competitive multiplayer we we both did soybeans a lot because they are about the best for return on investment um yeah we'll, we'll just see how it goes it might change i might end up making tmr so we've got all of these straw bales to stack. I'm just going to tidy these up. So I'm going to put them in stacks of three and four in here. Um, this is when it would be nice to have a smaller front load extractor. Um, I've got my eye on a couple of options and uh, we'll get to those at some point. I, mean, I don't really want to spend any of the money we have at the moment because so yeah, I don't, don't know what builds we're going to throw up as we get into Maze Plus. Uh, yeah, so my brain just locked up then. Yeah, we tractor options. We do have tractor options. Um, there's a couple that Smock Farmer sent over to me, which I have got on here already and i'm considering um i've got the deutz 06 off of mod hub which is another nice small tractor um, which does come with a front loader which i'm also considering um and the traction king still for a big tractor um, there are you know there are a few big tractor options but i do like the traction king so we've got it running on some plowing contracts at the moment and uh, it's a nice bit of kit and um, so you'll see we did some slightly random stacking um to get all the bales back in one hit and i'm just going to make 
these ones into stacks of four. Um, I put the trailer on the Ursus. It's not quite big enough to have the trailer level, but it just made it a bit more stable. Um, the Ursus really struggled to move it about. Is an Ursus? Is it an Ursus or is it Zetor? Zetor. The little tractor. Sorry, my brain's a bit frazzled today. Um, yet again, I did not get much sleep last night. Um, probably about the same as the night before almost because uh, I went to bed a bit later than I would normally because uh, I was chatting to some alien and then uh, oh, don't fall over and then I was awake fairly early again so yeah it seems to be my life at the moment uh, it seemed to me like I think there was one point where I could hear the drilling that I was talking about in the first part of the video um, so I have left that audio in because I think it was okay um, yeah, one of the things I'm looking at upgrading now, um, you know, but, you know, making a bit of progress with the YouTube channel, is probably upgrading the microphone in the next few months. Um, I want to wait until I get my other laptop back because I think that recorded sound quality better for some reason. I'm not sure why, because um, it's a USB microphone, so it really shouldn't matter. But yeah. Um, I'm going to wait until I get that back and then I'm probably going to upgrade because this is like a £30 microphone that I use so you know there are definitely options out there for something you know a kind of mid-level upgrade hopefully that will help improve things a bit again um, the other options I'm looking at are getting a 1440p monitor when I get the um, the laptop back because it can run the game at 1440p just fine but I play half on laptop screen and half on plugged into a monitor and I don't have any 1440p monitor so I do it all at 1080p so yeah that's kind of the IT geekery out of the way if you're not interested in that then uh, welcome back uh, so yeah we've got a whole load of straw bales off of that I only bailed one of the soybean fields the second one I uh, I just left because I harvested it with course play, it did drop straw, but I didn't pick it up. And I'm hoping that as we get, uh, it might be once we get into spring, that we'll be getting a whole load of planting and fertilizer contracts cropped up, or seeding, really. We've got our seeder now, um, planned to buy a fertilizer spreader at some point, so yeah, it would be kind of cool if we got some contracts on that. Let's try and make some space. Yeah, it's not the best way to stack bales, but I do manage to get it done. Um, yeah, there's a lot of equipment we need still, and Maze Plus is not helping with that. I said we're going to need a slurry tanker um, and a manure spreader. The manure spreader may be less so. Maybe we'll go for a slurry spreader first, um, because if you fill the slurry tank, the cows will stop producing milk. And I'm sure that's still a thing in FS22. It was early on in FS22. Um, and we can't afford an extension at the moment so if we get a slurry spreader we can at least throw it on the grass field continuously um, and maybe pick up some fertilizing contracts and make use of it although that's probably going to be a bit of a faff unless they're really close to the farm but yeah slurry spreader is probably a good idea um, and then we can use it as well to uh, to take slurry off to sell although the price isn't great because uh, it's just a sell point at the moment we don't own a BGA we wouldn't own a BGA at this point you know so but we basically just need to get rid of it to keep the cows producing milk it's a part of the process so. um, for selling the milk once we get into a kind of steady milk production I'll probably add in Vertex Designs a script that sells milk every twice a day um, I think that's how a lot of dairies work I think they have the milk lorry come in once or twice a day so yeah we can do that I think that's realistic you get charged a fee for it I think so but yeah, it just saves us endlessly cutting milk across the map. Now, probably add in the farm dairy at some point on here. We can afford that and it should fit on some of the spare land that we've got so we can get into some, some cheese or some butter. And once I get to making that point, I'm probably going to do the update to that mod to uh, in whey production. So got those put away I didn't bother showing all the rest of it it was pretty much a repetition and we need to roll the field that we've just um, 
seeded and you're going to see a i can't find the roller section and b i'm a bit dumb so i used all the deliveries for the contracts and someone forgot to reset it to the yard um so i leased one of these and it was delivered halfway across the map um so yeah we took a bit of a hit on that because i just return it and release it so yeah we lost a couple of grand on me being dumb um it would have probably been classed as another id 10 t error but yeah um previously i had used the uh the modded one that you might have seen on the screen because it's a bit cheaper and the horsepower requirement is a bit lower the the gutler um i thought this is bigger so it's going to be a bit quicker but uh, we're borderline on horsepower and the field is on a hill so uh, we will see how we get on with that um, I'm not normally too worried about mulching and rolling, so you would have seen that I didn't mulch. You may have seen if you watched earlier, I don't, didn't mulch any of my fields. The return from mulching is tiny versus the cost of effort you put in. The same is true for rolling, but rolling the map tells me needs rolling, and that bugs me. Now I know there are the, the mods which auto roll for you, but that didn't feel right on hard mode, and I know you can turn off the need for rolling, and I'm probably going to do that for corn before we plant corn um, so you can edit the xml file to uh, remove the requirement for rolling and that means we'll keep the texture for planted corn which seems pretty sensible to me yeah so we're just going to get this rolled with let's say we're struggling for horsepower you can see the rpms are dropping way down so i do a bit of manual gear shifting to uh to try and get us going again keep us moving so I'm not a fan of rolling, but and I think, uh, I don't know whether I said it earlier, probably now I'm going to skip ahead to the point where something interesting happens, or spring, whichever comes first. Not going to be much happening through November, December, January, maybe February even. Um, so yeah, I'll probably do a bunch of contracts. If they're available they tend to die away in the winter there's probably still going to be planning contracts about um, and i'll try and get screenshots of some most or all of those to see see when we come back but yeah unless things are interesting i'm not going to bother recording the progress through winter um might grab some footage of feeding the cows once we do that but yeah it's going to be a bit of a a leap ahead video kind of similar with acting and we're both at the kind they're both at kind of the same stage of the year um that things get a bit quiet on the farm uh, and i think acting has got one more video before i get before i make that jump forwards but this one i think is at that point um, and rather than struggle to produce videos through the winter i'll uh, i'll just keep an eye on things keep things sticking over and we'll come back in the spring or when interesting things start to happen I'm not going to do with the root crop harvesting contracts that are about. We've got so many root crops, we do not need that. Um, yeah, so just going to uh, progress ahead. And we'll get to the interesting bit, you know, running the farm, feeding the cows, all that kind of thing. It's, yeah, it's one of the things that I missed when we came to FS22 was you would have to have, and I get why people have so many animals. You need to sort that dip in the field as well. Um, the uh, Cavalier creates all his map textures manually, or map terrain manually, and he, uh, there are a couple of spots around the map where he got a bit enthusiastic with the clicking, so I do need to fix that one. Uh, it's fixed in the version that's on testing for ModHub, so just a hangover from uh, a version that I got that was kind of an intermediate and uh, with the save game. Yeah, it's fixable, and I can sort it fairly easily. Um, yeah, one of the things I missed with FS22 and not having seasons and maize plus and the way the animals are set up is they eat so little food but I understand why people have farms with you know three four five six seven eight hundred plus cows on them because it makes them engaging and you have to do something with maize plus you don't need that so we've got 12 and I think that's going to be interesting to uh, with such a small farm to keep that all running so yeah as things get interesting I will show them off if uh, if it happens but if not we'll uh We'll be skipping ahead to the spring in the next video. Um, yeah, it means we'll probably get to the point where we're spending money on wages without having contracts, so that'll be fun. 
um, because part of the, the hard mode and the, the, uh, what I've done with the workers is although I don't pay for them working specifically, I said I pay their salary and that salary doesn't stop in the winter. Uh, which might be different how real thing, it works in the real world, but it's how I'm running it. Um, because I think I'm probably paying slightly less than you would pay base game workers for some things, but over the year I think it will average out. It may even be a bit more. Yeah, that's, that's kind of where we are. I don't think, um, yeah, until until the cows get older, they're all quite young. Things are going to be fairly, you know, easy to manage. So we'll, uh, we'll pick it up when it gets a bit more interesting, and that means we can progress a little bit as well. You know, but we how many videos in? Um, one sec, let me check. Aren't easy to check. I think we're about. 12 videos in and uh, it's only October so yeah we would like to start making some more progress so do that by skipping winter so yeah not going to be doing any forestry or anything like that you can see on this hill we are really struggling and um, I should have gone for that smaller roller I think it might have been quicker just because the roller would have been moving faster it's one of those trades isn't it that you know bigger on the horsepower limit you end up going slower versus smaller plenty of spare power you go quicker I'm pretty sure I would have been quicker doing it the other way. But we'll never know until the next time we need to roll this field. And we're not going to be rolling the other one because it's going to be corn. So yeah. Speaking of corn, um, I am completely missed all of the corn or maize fields where I live have now been chopped. Um, there were... We don't have much around here because there's not much uh, animal farming. Um, but I missed for the last two years it's been slowly increasing how much they grow and for the last two years I have missed both harvests um, it's kind of annoying but there you go it, it was, the, the corn was looking well the maize was looking pretty sorry for itself after some of the storms we've had here in the last few weeks it was doing really well over the summer in the hot weather and then just got battered by wind and rain for a week solid I think and uh, yeah it didn't do it much good but yeah, I guess that's the life of farming. But luckily, we don't get too badly affected by the, the FS22 has some better effects for things like wind, but they don't really affect the game, so yeah. Anyway, that is the rolling all done. There are a couple of tiny miss bits, but I'm not going to worry about that. So I'm going to say thanks for watching, folks. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button. If you've got questions or comments, stick them below. And if you're new and you've made it this far, and you're not already please subscribe it really helps out subscribing liking commenting all helps the channel grow and tells youtube that people like it they like that i crash and uh, yeah it means you'll see some really cool interesting stuff coming in the future when i get the new computer back and it's set up we will be doing some terror life beta streaming so look out for that in the future